What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to add a foundation to your project in Revit Architecture. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is click on your foundation plan. And then the next thing you want to do is come up here and go to wall. And then you want to make sure you select a 12 inch foundation wall made out of concrete. Then the next thing you want to do is make sure in your properties box, make sure you're base constraint and top constraint is what you want it at and you want it to be the top of footing for base constraint and you want the top constraint to be first floor then you also want to make sure that your location line is on wall center line now what you want to do is come over here and grab your pick lines tool and set your offset to negative nine inches now you're going to want to try and select the outside of the exterior wall. And you want to make sure that it looks just like this. The dotted blue line is towards the inside of your house. And then you're just going to want to click. And now I'm going to do this to every wall in my house. You just got to make sure that this, the lines are in the correct spot. That's very important. You might have to zoom in a little bit to make sure you can select all the lines. As a general rule, you do not want a foundation underneath your garage. Now this might be different depending on what you're building, but for this video, I am not going to put a foundation underneath my garage. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Just make sure that the line is on the exterior side and then the dotted blue line is on the inside. Same here. Okay, now I'm just going to come along here and finish off my corners a little bit better. So I'm going to click on a wall. I'm going to choose this corner tool here and I'm just going to click each wall and just make sure it's just one continuous piece and no leftovers hanging anywhere. So now I'm going to want to annotate this wall, and this is just like annotating exterior walls. So you want to go from the outside to outside. So I'm going to do that real fast here. And if you did it the way I told you to do it, you should get nice numbers throughout your whole project. I'm just going to click. You do outside outside and then outside again and then the same thing right here now these ones on the garage are going to be a little off but I'm going to change those and I'll just change this one first I'll make it 13 feet now that one's a nicer number and I'm going to change this one to be 20 feet and now, as you can see, I have the foundation walls in and annotated. Now, next, what you're going to want to do is go to 3D mode and just make sure all your walls have connected to your first floor. And in this case, they haven't. So I'm going to have to manually attach each one. So you click on it and click Attach Top to Base. And then you click First Floor Wall. And I'm going to have to do this on all these. And I'm just going to speed this video up so you don't have to watch this. Now I have all the walls attached to my first floor walls. And now we have to add a footing to this. So you can do this one of two ways. Um, there's an easier way and a harder way, but a more professional way of doing it. So the first way is you can either click structure and then click wall. Make sure it's the second wall, the structural foundation wall and then you're going to click that and then all you have to do is click each one of your foundation walls and it's going to add a footing to that as you can see but I am not going to do that way I am going to do the more professional way so what you want to do then is go to foundation and then you're going to go up to wall once again and this time you're going to want to find a 24 inch footing wall and then now you're going to want to select your base and top constraints. So your base constraint, you want it to be bottom of footing. And then your top constraint, you want to be the top of footing. Then you want to click Apply. 
and now it's just like drawing the foundation walls except easier it's just like drawing your first floor walls all you do is click and just make sure it's right in the center here and just draw all the way around And there you go, now I have a footing all the way around my house. Now that I have my footings on, now we need to add some posts and beams. So what you want to do is click on foundation once again, and then you're going to go onto the structure tab once again, and you want to find beam right here, it's the very first one. And now what you're going to want to do is find the 2 by 10 beam here, and we're just going to click edit type. And now I want this beam to be 6 by 10 actually, so 3 2 by 10s nailed together. So what I'm going to do is just change this B dimension right here. Instead of 1.5, we want this to be 4.5. So now what you're going to want to do is click Rename, and I'm just going to rename this a 6 by 10, even though that's not the true name for it, or a 3 by 2 by 10. So I'm going to click OK, then OK once again. And now what you want to do is draw where you want your beam to go. So you can either have them going horizontally here or vertically. And for this house, I think I'm going to do mine horizontally because I feel like that's a better fit here. So what I'm going to do is go somewhere here in the middle. I'm just going to click and drag. And I'm going to see, you'll see that it put the 2 by 10 beam in here. And now what you want to do is annotate this. So I'm going to see if I need another beam in here somewhere. So you just want to go from the middle here to the inside of your foundation wall. And make sure you just select the right line. So I'm going to click tab and click that line. So that's 20 feet that way. And now I'll try this one. It is... 22 feet this way so I'll see if I can get a nicer number out of this I'll just click this and I am going to try let's say 21 so that's fairly close you just want to have them close and then if you needed to you could put more beams all the way down running along here but I'm just gonna add this one just for this video so next we need to put in post or column. So what you want to do is click on column here and then you're just going to want to put one of these circle columns on here and then you want to click modify and now for some reason sometimes these posts won't let you change the base constraint and top constraint by just clicking on them. This time it will so I'm just going to set my base constraint to top of footing and then the top level to foundation but if this doesn't show that for you, all you have to do is click 3D and then go to a bottom view, find your post, click on it, and then it should you should be able to select the top of footing and foundation. So now what I'm going to do is go back to foundation, and you want these every 5 to 10 feet apart. So I'm just going to annotate this very first one first, so the inside of the foundation wall here. Click. And then now, if I just make this one a nice simple number, 5 feet, now I'm going to copy and paste this all the way out throughout this whole beam. So here I'll do that real fast. To copy and paste, you click on it, and then you want to click this copy tool, which kind of looks like three bubbles and then an arrow that points down. So you want to click on that, and then you want to click on the center of the thing you want to copy, click it, and then you can move it five feet over and I will just keep doing this keep going five feet at a time so you want to click on the thing you want to copy then the copy tool and then click on the center once again of it move it over five feet and you can also copy more than one thing at once so I'm gonna copy all three of these here and since there's three of them I want them five feet apart so you multiply those two numbers together and I have to move this whole thing 15 feet over. There you go. And then looks like I'll have room for a couple more here. Let's just try two. 
going to select these two, copy them, and put them 10 feet apart. Now that looks good. Now I'm going to annotate every single one of these at the same time because it's a lot easier to do this way in case you need to move the annotations around. So you can see that I copied them five feet apart from each other. Now they're all going to be five feet. Okay, now you can see that this one here on the end is two six and this one's five. So I'm just going to try and move them all so they're very similar. So if I do some quick math here, this one should be 3, 9. And I'm going to have to move all these over 5 inches. And once I'm done, I will come back. Okay, I am back. And now as you can see, there's an equal space from here and here and here and here. Now what you want to do is go back to your wall. And you want to select another footing because we need something for these posts to sit on. So what you want to do is find your footing once again, make sure the base constraints are the same, so bottom of footing and top of footing. And now what you want to do is click, make sure it's right in the center of this beam you put here, and just drag all the way across. As you will see, the footings here combined it together, so now we have a footing running down the middle. And now there's one last step here, we need to annotate that there are in fact beams running across here and across here so this is just something very easy to do all you have to do is click annotate and then select detail line and now you're going to want to draw this kind of funky shape it's almost like an arrow and half arrow on both sides you want to make this kind of a Z shape in a way. Then you want to go back to annotate and then click text. And just click anywhere. And I'm going to actually bump up this text size here. So I'm going to click edit type and then find text size and make it a little bit bigger. So I'll try one fourth. Click OK. And now I'm just going to type 2 by, so the, t the X key, 10 joist and then I'm going to click return and I'm going to do 16 O capital O dot capital C dot so 16 on center and I'm just going to click space so it's even and now what I'm going to do is click here you'll see a little rotate tool I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and then I'm just going to put it right here in my little arrow thing. I'm just going to make sure I move this down. And now here's our annotation for the 2 by 10 joists that run back and forth from this beam to the edge of your house. Now I'm just going to quick copy and paste this. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing here and click copy. I'm just going to copy it and then drag it down here. I'm just going to put it down here in the center. And now, as you can see, we have a fully annotated, fully feature foundation plan. If this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video.